I'm Brian Brushwood. I tour all over the United States performing America's number one college magic show. I do stuff like fire eating, escapes, mind reading. This is Nick, my tour manager and constant companion on the road. Every night, Nick and I find ourselves in a new city, new situation, and new people. These are the stories of what happens on the road. <laughs> Alright, Nicholas. Yes. You know what these are? Toothpicks. That's right. You know they're also medical influence. Did you know that you can actually take your pulse using toothpicks? Yeah. All you have to do is balance one right in the center of your palm. And it'll actually... You know, actually bounce with your with your heartbeat. That's awesome. Isn't that cool? Here, try it. Just pull your hand and just balance the other one on top. What's wrong? I don't know. I have no pulse. I'm I'm, I'm dying. <laughs> it's almost as though it's able to work for me, but not for you. So the reason it works for me, and not for you, is because, uh, like all great magic, it is a big fat lie. I am, you know, pretty much I'm holding it just the way it looks like, right? You just balance it from the middle of your palm out to, uh, out on this edge. All right, now, but the difference is, is I'm putting pressure. If you look right here, I'm putting pressure on the back of my fingernail using this index finger to push down on the back of that fingernail. And then as I drag it across my fingernail, it's going to slip and stick. And when it does, it's going to cause this guy to jump around. Now if you look closely, you see a little tiny motion along my fingernail, right? You see, like you don't really notice that because you're watching this guy bounce all around. So all you have to do is, is put pressure with your index finger onto your middle finger and just drag it across your middle finger and it causes this guy to dance around like a frog on a hot plate. Okay, so here's, here's the tour thus far. We started off in Austin and then we drove up to Dallas, and then we flew from Dallas over to Denver, from Denver back to Dallas, over to Shreveport, Louisiana, to Austin, down to Seguin, Orlando, to Denver, LA, to Boston, Chicago, Kansas, Austin, Milwaukee, where I was throwing up. I went, Bleh. New England, back to LA, back to Chicago, to Milwaukee, then I went back to Austin. I thought we had a show I don't know. Where are we now? All right, that took me a second, because it clearly looks like it says, we buy and sell crack. And then I understood it. Certain people who shall remain nameless, and it's more than one, okay? more than one, uh, seem to have the impression that you don't like meat. No. I like, I like cows. The, the bacon is just gross. The, the, it's the World Wide Web is, is a buzz with uh, the false impression that you're some kind of uh, vegetarian. Uh, it's just a lot of, I, I love a lot of uh, hamburger, chicken. Yeah, you uh, eat a lot of hamburger. I eat a lot of hamburger. So, so what about pork chops? Pork chops? Uh, not really, no. And it, what's really weird is uh, I don't like to eat meat off the bone, basically. Like, really? I love, I love that to me is the best part. Like to me, so. well, that, well, that's that's about as close as to communing to nature as I re as I really get. Uh, I don't me. actually want to hunt and kill, oh. but I do like to pretend that I'm somehow closer to that primal. Put on your loincloth, lay right. down, and eat off a bone. Right, <laughs> yeah. get it, got it. You know, get a little bit of pig's blood, flick it around the air. Gotcha. gotcha. I see how you roll, roll brushwood. Okay. So, all right. So let's 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 set the re record straight. America, America, you listen. This is a good man. He's a decent man. He's a meat-eating American, and we will not have these rumors and innuendo of vegetarianism on this tour. Not that there's anything wrong with that. I think some people are just born vegetarians. It's uh, it's not a choice. Uh, it's a lifestyle that some people are born into, and uh, I think we should all exhibit uh, patience and tolerance for all peoples, vegetarians and normals alike.